What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. Today we're gonna get into how to dress like Ryan Gosling. So today I wanted to get into how to dress like Ryan Gosling because I think that Ryan is a really good example of a dapper man, someone that can dress, someone that has a good sense of style. So if you don't know who Ryan Gosling is, he's in a lot of different films like The Notebook, La La Land, a bunch of different films and he's a very famous actor. I really look up to his style. I've always kind of looked at him and said, wow, he, he really does have a great sense of style. So I kind of wanted to create a challenge in order to try and dress like Ryan Gosling. And that does not entail getting a haircut exactly like Ryan Gosling. It just means basically going on the internet and choosing an outfit and see if I can do it for a cheaper alternative to what he is currently wearing. And that's kind of the premise of this whole entire video. Usually in most of his outfits, it's designer clothes. He usually has on Salvatore Ferragamo, which is a very expensive brand. I feel like this channel is more geared towards someone that is kind of getting into the whole fashion scene and they want to start dressing more manly and they want to dress older. And I feel like this is a good channel and a good place to start. I feel like Ryan Gosling is a good template to go off of. So basically I got this idea from my best friend, Harrison Neville. You might have seen some of his videos on the internet. I became friends with him when I was 13 years old. So basically in his videos, he will do exactly what I'm going to do today. Basically going on the internet and finding a celebrity's outfit and trying to duplicate it and finding a cheaper alternative to that outfit. Okay guys, so the first step is going to be going on the internet and let's just type in Ryan Gosling outfits. Outfits. Pull that up. See, I've looked it up before. Let's go to images. So I feel like this is a pretty good outfit right here. Pretty simple. Um, let's just keep going through these. These are some good ones. I mean, he wears a lot of suits. Obviously, we haven't gotten to that yet, but I don't want to just keep doing suits because, you know, for most people out there, they it, suits are very expensive. If I was going to recommend a suit, I would want to recommend something that is quality and usually quality suits are very expensive. I want to basically pick out outfits that are more casual and something that, you know, you could style and make your own. So basically like this is a pretty good outfit too let's just keep going through these i want to get something that's kind of not too simple but something that's kind of in the middle so i feel like if we i feel like i really like this one so let's just take that one so guys it looks like he's wearing a brown suede uh, bomber and i think i could pull that off looks like he's got a gray cardigan underneath there with a white oxford shirt and some leather gloves some jeans and then let's see if I can find another image to where I can see his shoes. Okay guys, so I found another image of the full body shot for this entire picture. So it looks like he's wearing some, those look like uh, Salvatore Ferragamos and it looks like a like teal or a gray color and those are probably gonna be pretty expensive i'm gonna try and find something cheaper that we could work with i might try to fit this into kind of like a 400 dollars price point i feel like that we could pull that off for under 400 dollars. don't necessarily have to meet the 400 dollars mark and keep it under that but we just want to keep it in that range and if we go over that's fine okay guys so the first thing i think we should go after is the brown bomber and i feel like we can just look that up right now let's go to brown bomber jacket mints okay that pops up let's just go through this all right so it looks like we have something from asos over here pretty expensive but we're it's a suede bomber so it's not that bad i feel like that could work i feel like we we could get even darker with it um if we can get lucky and um, I, I like the collar right here kind of just flips out whereas this one's more it's just a little bit different and i want i kind of want to stick towards sticking pretty near to the outfit so i feel like we could find something like that let's just um keep searching okay guys so i just remembered i actually do have a brown suede leather bomber that i could use it's right here and this is very very similar to the one in the picture don't have the sleeves right here or the uh, cuffs exactly the same but that's pretty dang close and it's pretty cheap $73 I will be able to pull that off here's another one um, it's just kind of not what we're going for ASOS man they have a lot of good stuff by the way this is not sponsored by ASOS please sponsor me so I could use that I have a sheet pulled up here so let's put in Ryan Gosling outfit challenge and we'll start keeping a tally of our different costs here so we got $73 for the jacket next let's look up the cardigan so it's a looks like it's got 
four buttons here. It looks like a light gray cardigan. All right, so we'll look up gray cardigan sweater. Oh, sweet, perfect. Here's a good one. This is, of course, from ASOS once again. I feel like that could work. That's very, very similar to what he has on. Just button it on the top. Let's just keep looking around just a little bit more. So I found another cardigan that's $45. It was originally $98. And I feel like it's a little bit too dark for the outfit. I feel like the other one we could pull off better um, right here. And this is just a lighter gray. So let's just go with this one. It's cheaper too. $35. You can't go, can't go wrong with that. So let's go with $35. Put that into our sheet here. All right. So next let's go for the jeans. It looks like a pretty dark blue wash. So let's just go on to hyperdenim.com. That's a good place to start for denim. Usually I would just go to Levi's or something, but hyperdenim, I got that idea from Harrison. I think we're going to end up going with this one. $43. You can't go wrong with that. looks like it fits pretty good too. Pretty dark blue. Oh wow. That is like perfect. And I wore a 30. Let's check out that one. So $43 for the jeans. Okay, guys, so we got the jacket, the cardigan, and the jeans now. Let's go after what would be the next thing. I have the white Oxford shirt that could go underneath it and pull that off, so that's basically free. The leather gloves, I do have a pair of those, so that would work. Sunglasses, I have those. Let's go after the shoes. So these look like they're a pair of Oxford. Actually, they look like derbies because they don't come together at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll kind of zoom in here. So usually there's like a line that comes across here and that would be a Oxford. I'll throw up an image of an Oxford on uh, the screen. So this is a derby to where these bend away from each other. So let's just look at Oxford because I don't think we'll be able to find any gray derbies. Yeah, this would be a great shoe to go with. This could work really well. It's usually $400 for 200 bucks, 197 bucks. That's a great deal. I'm a nine and a half. It looks like they have 10, so that, that will work for the challenge. And let's just stick that over into the sheet here. So $197. Okay guys, so that should do it. I pretty much have everything else that was not on the list. I'll basically see you guys in another week or so. I'll be able to order this stuff. We'll be able to get into it and put together an outfit. Let's get it. Okay guys, we got everything we got and we ordered through the packages. You know, we got our cardigan. I have my leather jacket right here. I have my leather gloves. Also, we have my white Oxford shirt that I just happen to have in my closet, as well as the shoes. These shoes are really, really nice. I can't wait to try these things on and uh, put together a full outfit. Basically, what we're gonna do from here is that we're gonna put together a montage of shots. Without further ado, let's put this outfit together. Welcome back. I am so excited with this outfit, guys. Literally, this could not come together better for my first video on how to dress like a celebrity. I feel like everything is literally like perfect when it comes to this outfit. Let me just take off my glasses. Literally, I cannot describe like how perfect this, this outfit is. Uh, the glasses are a little bit different than what he's wearing. I am so stoked to do so many more of these videos and to keep moving forward with you guys. I'm very grateful to be able to start a YouTube channel and to have the connections I do have. And I really do want to bring value to you guys. I will be moving in with Harrison Neville uh, soon. Let me know what celebrity you guys are looking to next that you, you think that I could dress like or that I could pull off. Um, I'd love to hear your suggestions. Just go down in the comments and comment below and let me know what you guys are thinking. If you guys would, please go leave a like on this video. Also subscribe and stay updated with all my videos. I will be posting a video every single Sunday at 2 p.m. Until next time, guys, this is Alex Levito signing out.